Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. It will definitely mean a lot to me and my channel and it will notify you when I post new content. So um, you can keep seeing videos on budget technology like this. So today, as you can see, I have the Amazfit GTR2. Um, I got this for a few reasons. Um, the first reason I'll mention, uh, because I did pick up the Amazfit GTS2 Mini, but I actually got it as a gift. So I really just like set it up just to see what the experience was like. And I really liked the software experience of it. I liked the setup process and I just liked all of the features that it had. Um, so I decided to pick one up uh, with my preference of style, the GTS2 Mini was a square. I prefer round watches, so I decided to pick this one up and it just looked really good. Um, uh, I also had a really good experience with the Xiaomi Mi Band 6. It actually just died right when this package got here. So um, yeah, it's just a weird coincidence. Um, so uh, yeah, Xiaomi is a, actually a partner with Amazfit. So I'm really gonna trust this product a lot. Um, and yeah, those are just the major reasons uh, that I picked this up. I've been looking at Amazfit for a very long time now. I really think this is a very good value for what uh, is provided uh, in the watch. So we're just going to hop into it. Okay, so first the packaging. As you can see on the front, you get your Amazfit branding. You get a picture on the watch as well. Um, I actually got the classic version of this. They have two versions of this watch, the classic version and the sports version. The sports version has a rubber band it is made of aluminum, but the uh, classic version has a um, leather band and is made of stainless steel. So I just wanted that more durable uh, material. So this is why I picked this one up. It is a few dollars more, but um, it's definitely worth it if it provides more protection in my opinion. So um, the GTR2, you can see that right there, the little iridescent colors. It's really nice packaging on this. Um, so on the side, you can see it has multiple sports modes. It has a AMOLED display and it does have a blood oxygen uh, sensor as well. It also does have sleep quality monitoring, a long lasting battery, and it has music storage for playback. So you can download music onto your watch and use it as a like MP3 type player when you're uh, going off without your phone. So I really think that's nice. Uh, this watch has a ton of features. I hope to cover it all in this video. I'm really excited to get this thing open. So let's open it up now. I have to like pre-peel the corner. Don't know if I'm opening this right, but we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, definitely don't think I opened it right. Oh, it had a pull tap the whole time. <laughs> I will get better at unboxing things one day, guys. I know I mess up a lot of boxes. Okay, so you're greeted with another square box your mace fit brand in there nothing on the other side so looks like it will slide out and then you're greeted with the watch i really like the size of it from what i see so far but we'll go over that in a minute okay nothing over there okay there's your watch oh this is some really nice packaging Looks like both sides separate and then both sides have something in them. This is probably your charging cable. Let's see what kind of charger it has. Huh. Yeah, it looks just like the GTS2 mini charger. I really wonder if that like fits um, all the Amazfit watches globally. Okay. Let's pull the other tab open and here you get your books and stuff. So yeah, there's an instruction manual. It's pretty thick. It's like it's multiple languages on there, which is nice. This is a global product. So yeah, that's all that comes with the box. So let's get to the actual watch now. You can see there's a sticker on top. Okay, struggling. I'm gonna pull this behind the tripod for a minute. Oh, never mind. I don't need to. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so I got... Oh, that feels amazing. I really like how this watch feels. It feels really, really nice. And then the back is actually made of like a polycarbonate type material, which is like softer. So it should be very comfortable to wear. You can see it, it almost looks like leather. Just like a matte type feel right there. And then the bands are leather, of course. This is pretty average leather band. It's not anything special um, in my opinion. Um, but the watch feels like very premium like it's can tell it will be cold to the touch because it is like made of stainless steel it's very shiny and one thing i like about these watches is that they have like a um they call it a 3d curved glass so like the edges like are curved up like slightly and then the middle of the watch is like curved up a little bit so yeah, that's really nice. The buttons feel great. Don't think I have any issues with the buttons at all. It just really feels like a classic style watch, which is what um, that I prefer when I'm looking at uh, smart watches. And it feels very premium. It's not too heavy. Yeah, so that's nice. It just looks really nice. I'm gonna get this powered on so I can see what the screen looks like. Okay, there's your Amazfit branding. I am doing English. Okay, so it wants you to download an app. Let me pull my phone out. Pulled it up pretty quickly. Okay, sent me right to the Zep app. This is the same app used on the GS. GTS 2 Mini. I believe all Amazfit products will use this app. Um, it looks very similar to the Mi Band app, but that's because, as, as I said, uh, Xiaomi and Amazfit are like sister companies pretty much. So yeah, I'm going to um, put all of my information in and set this up now. Okay, so now I am in the Zep app. I'm just going to walk you through this uh, software like I did with the GTS 2 Mini because there are a few uh, changes to this and I'll let you guys know what they are. So um, yeah, on this first screen, you get like all of your charts and general like fitness data. So as you can see, and when you click on one of these cards, it will give you like a chart. Let you know like when um, you got those results. And it's actually pulling over like my sleep data from my Mi Band. I have not slept in this yet. Um, I just opened this up. So um, yeah, again, the Mi Fit and Zep app do look to be connected in some sort of way. So yeah, just that first page is for all of your uh, general fitness data, all of your charts and things. Um, so the second one is called Enjoy. It does have a few extra features. Uh, one thing that really interested in me is this, uh, the offline audio command. So uh, this works completely offline. So if you were to leave your phone somewhere and you still have your watch on you, you can still use these voice commands. Uh, it's not as strong as Alexa. And one con is that you have to like say um, exactly what the command is using these offline commands. But I still think it's a killer feature to have. Here are just some examples like you can open a specific app on your watch. You can adjust your brightness, volume, keep screen on, lock your screen, do not disturb mode, turn on your battery saver. And then you can start workouts as well. You can end workouts, pause workouts. Okay, continue workouts, all of that. And then... Um, and have a music commands as well so you can open your music you can start playing something you can loop something it's just a very useful um feature to have so i'll show you guys how that works later on um, and you can also uh use widgets for this and um, set some alarms so um yeah it's a really nice feature to have especially since it's offline you do not need to be connected to your phone or internet at all to like use these offline um commands at all so i think that's really nice um let's see uh there's your alarm clock don't have to go into there that's pretty straightforward you, you can set an alarm on this watch um schedules you can set add um events to your schedule from there find your device you see that worked perfectly fine 
Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, so you saw that working. Um, you can change your watch faces as well. That's also in another spot in the actual watch settings and you can connect with friends if they use the Zap app or the MeFit app as well. Um, you can set your target goals. You can change your call settings. I actually did not look at that yet. Okay, so yeah, you can receive and um, call out using your uh, watch. So first you have to allow access to your phone. Gonna allow. Allow access to call history. Wow. So now when people are coming in, you don't have your phone on you. It does like still have to be connected by Bluetooth, I believe. Um, but you can answer from your watch because this watch does have a speaker and a microphone, which is nice. It's probably something I would probably never use. Um, so yeah. Okay. There's your app alerts, uh, vibration mode. You get to choose how it vibrates. Um, you can set up a lock screen. Okay, so and then these are just like some of the unsupported features. So let's go to the last one. This is the important part. Uh, this is like your settings. So um, you have, you can set your goals. You can set records or look at your records. So you can look at the best times that you have for fitness data. Um, you can connect with friends. You can add more accounts. Um, they have user feedback, smart analysis, and turn that on for sleep quality okay settings behavior tagging check for updates yes yeah, pretty simple um so here are all of the watch settings this is really the interesting part so here's the first off this watch face store here are all the watch faces you can use from um i'm using the i don't remember the name of it but i liked it oh it's actually this one this shadow red trail um because i like the fact that it had an analog and digital watch on it and it had like all that essential data in there the only thing i really didn't like is that like there are ticks around it so um yeah not a big deal i'll try to find more watch faces i do believe there are some third-party apps as well in which you can download a maze fit um watch faces Okay, so notifications and reminders. You can actually choose what apps you want to receive notifications for. So that's nice. Um, you do have a standing reminder. I'm not going to do that because I work a desk job, so that would be killing me all day. Um, you can receive your text messages on your watch. You cannot respond, but you can receive your uh, text messages. Uh, you also get. You can also set up goal notifications. So when you hit one of your fitness goals, you can. Um, set that up i do like that you also do get the battery percentage this was on 35 when i first um got it so um it only went down one percent and i've been playing with this for like over a half an hour now so um that just shows you how good the battery life has potential to be again you could change the uh vibration how you want it to uh, here's some health settings. There are a few different um, health settings in the GTR2 uh, over the GTS Mini. So you can actually. Okay, I'm just going to set that to auto. You can actually change like the the uh, frequency in which you get uh, your heart rate monitor. So I think that's really nice. Um, activity detection. And I think that's like just the major thing that I've seen uh, anyway. So you can do activity detection. So when you stop an activity, it will still like track you. Heart rate alert. It would alert you when you hit over 150 beats per minute. All day stress level monitoring. Um, I'm not sure if I want to turn that on yet because I know it like killed battery life on my Mi Band. So we'll see about that. Um, let's see. What are some more things? I uh, hear some different watch settings. So here are your display settings on your watch. You do have an auto brightness mode. I'm going to keep that on. Don't really need to be 100% bright all the time. Um, the screen goes off after five seconds. You do have an always on display, as you can see. Works perfectly fine. Um, and then you can uh, list wrist to view info. Okay. And what else is there? Some sound settings. I do not want an alert. I turned that off. Um, I just want to get vibrations. So no alert tone for me. I do not want to hear anything dinging all day. Okay. Your wearing manner. That's, I'm sorry, the wearing manner. That's like this side that you wear your watch on. I always wear mine on my left wrist. 
offline audio wake mode. I'll show you how that works. And then you can change your language all from this app. Okay, app list management. So this is um, the apps that you will see uh, on the watch. I'll show you how that menu looks in a second. But you can adjust this. You can take these out if you want to. But by default, it shows everything. And you could change the order. So I'm going to move setting. So yeah, you could change the order in which the apps show on your uh, menu on your watch. So just hit save. Okay, so let's see what else there is. Um, shortcut cards. You do get shortcut cards as well. I'll show you how those look. They look really nice actually. Um, I did adjust those a little bit. I don't want the heart rate, blood oxygen, or PAI to show all the time. Actually, I think I do want my heart rate. Well, I'll just keep it that way for now. Okay. And you do get some, um, like some more settings as well. So there's your phone settings. You saw that earlier. You do get some music settings. And you can actually upload music like from this app. I was thinking that you would have to do it like with a cord and the USB, but you can actually upload music from files on your phone so that um, you're able to play your music on your watch. That's the only way that um, you can play music actually from the watch. Um, there is like one song pre-downloaded on there, so I'll show you guys how the speaker sounds in a second. Um, you can change the weather settings, alarm, schedule, and finally, uh, what I, what this is what really made me trigger, Alexa support. So you can use Alexa with this watch, um, as well as like the offline assistant, but Alexa is of course going to be a lot better because it can actually connect to the internet and find data that you're looking for. This was like a huge, huge, huge game changer for me. So that's like the main reason I picked up this watch. I saw that um, this supported Alexa and I also saw that there were like a lot of very good like fitness updates to the um, to the watch in general because it was not the best at um, tracking fitness before, but this update really fixed it for a lot of people. So. Um, after that update, I automatically pulled the trigger um, on the smartwatch. So, um, yeah, that looks like it's about it. Those are really all of the important um, settings and everything. Um, I am up to date on the latest. Um, so, yeah, now I'm just going to go over the software and the watch. Okay, so now to the actual watch again. This is definitely like the most beautiful watch that I've ever owned personally. I really like how this watch is built just in terms of build quality and I like the fact that it's like a par polycarbonate back so it will be pretty comfortable. You can see there are the speakers there and that's your microphone right there on the left side and I think it's two speakers. So yeah, dual speakers on a watch so yeah, that's really interesting. Um, so yeah, let's just go over the settings. You can see I have a watch face. I'm probably going to change it because I don't like how there are extra ticks um, in the actual watch face because there are already ticks on the uh, perimeter of the watch as you can see. So I'm probably going to change that. Um, so yeah, let's swipe down. Here are just all of your shortcuts again. It's definitely more shortcuts than the GTOS, GTS2 Mini because there are like, uh, there are two pages. It wasn't that many pages on the GTS2 Mini. So um, there you can see your chance of rain, your weather as well, battery percentage. Um, and at the very end, what is that? Oh, it just shows you're connected to your phone. Uh, you do get a flashlight. Um, you get the um, automatic brightness, your do not disturb mode. What is that one? Uh, battery saver mode. You can lock your screen. You can look for your phone. So let me pull my phone out. You guys can hear that ringing. So if you lose your phone and it's still connected to the Bluetooth, you can just ring it like that. You can adjust your volume. And here you can go into theater mode. Not sure exactly what that is, but I won't be using it. Okay, so yeah, that's about it on the shortcuts. And then when you swipe up, you get your notifications. You can't respond to your notifications on this watch. Um, really can't expect that at this price. So um, yeah, and then here, just like a few of your shortcuts, you get your PAI, which is like a universal like uh, fitness track tracking um, score. 
and then once you go again you get your general fitness data you do get rings and you get your uh all of like your data on that one screen and you swipe up you get more okay let me swipe again so you can measure your heart rate right from here you can also see your heart rate results from earlier today and you get your weather as well and then you get a music app um this was really interesting it did i did try to play it like while it was on my wrist and it felt really weird so i turned it off <laughs> automatically but uh there's one song on here already so just to show you guys the speaker works on here you can adjust the volume from this app as well so yeah the speakers are on the back okay so let me turn that off pause and there are skip buttons as well and this is only for when you download music but you can change like the source so if you're playing music from your watch you can control all of this from the um from the uh watch as well so right now you can say it's on watch music and then when you press that button it changes to remote controller which means it's coming from your phone okay and then finally uh you get these little these little cars to the left you get alexa you get your music again you get weather you get activity goal you get alarm so yeah those are all the little cards you get on that last screen so i think that's really cool okay so let's try to get alexa to work i want to see if it works as fast as the gts2 mini uh, let me just think of something to google How old is Steph Curry? Okay, so you do not get verbal feedback from Alexa. She will just um, tell you via text. But the microphone uh, does work, so you can use uh, the microphone with um, Alexa. How many games did the Pistons win this season? So yeah, 20 and 52. So hopefully we get that first draft pick, hopefully. So yeah, Alexa looks a lot faster and you don't really have to wait for her. Like as soon as you press it and it says listening, uh, that definitely looks a lot better than on the uh, GTS2 Mini. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys the offline mode. Let me look over the controls for a minute and then I'll get back with you. Okay, so finally I'm just gonna go over the newest feature, which is the offline voice assistant on these uh, Amazfit watches. Um, it's really interesting how it works. Um, you do have to like either flip your wrist, I don't have it on my wrist so I can't really do that, or you could just press the power button from the lock screen and then you will see a little indicator at the bottom and then you have to start talking like automatically and you have to word it exactly how the command is um, on the app or it won't work, it only takes um, specific words. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. Um, watch this. So as soon as I press the button, you'll see the indicator at the bottom. That's how you know it's searching for your voice and it only lasts for five seconds. So you all have to say that command pretty quickly. So this is gonna be very useful. Watch this. Open music. And you can see it works really fast actually. Um, because there's no internet required or anything for it so it just automatically goes to the app on your computer so i'm going to try one i mean on your watch i'm going to try it one more time open weather so yeah you can see it works pretty well and um using just like those commands uh, from the app i would highly suggest looking at the app and seeing what commands you can use because it can definitely like um increase some uh functionality of this watch so yeah uh, overall i really really like this watch a lot the software seems really good so far i haven't had any bugs or anything uh, these watches do take a minute to like get synced and everything but once it's all synced in everything works great and i really love just how this watch is built it's a very 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 nice looking watch stainless steel comes out of the box with a leather band yeah, I'm really feeling this watch a lot. This is definitely like my type of style. 
So yeah, I'll try to be do I'll try to do a full review on this uh, probably after a few weeks or so, just to tell you guys how long the battery life actually lasts. I do want to charge it to a hundred now. Uh, let's see what the battery life is actually at now. Still on thirty three. I've had this for like for well over an hour and it only dropped two percent. So yeah, the battery life is looking good so far. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about this uh, product, leave it in the comments, and I will be working on a full review. If you have any questions for the full review, leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.